Wake Up Noble, we will be talking about why you should have had a cinnamon roll this morning, why you definitely need to be a College Hoops fan, and why this is the best day of the week. Wake up! Congratulations to Katie Fox for being selected to serve as a page for Senator Rob Standridge at the Oklahoma State Capitol for the week of February 20, 2017. Katie applied for the position in December 2016 and received notice that she had been selected a short time after January 2017. When asked why she was interested, her, her reply was that she wants to understand our government better. This will be added to her applications for college and hopefully will help obtain scholarship money. Her future plans are to obtain a nursing degree in college and enroll, and then enroll in the Navy. Afterwards, we'll see where her future takes her. We would like to wish good luck to our very intellectual freshman and sophomore academic team at home today. We hope you guys bring your big brain <coughs> neurons and put your smarts to work. Because yesterday was President's Day, and because of technical difficulties, we were unable to show our outstanding President's Day video. But fear no more, because here it is. <laughs> Hi, my name is Grace and I'm here with Bear News and I'm going around and interviewing the class presidents for President's Day and asking them some questions about history. So, let's go. Who was the oldest president to be voted into office? Abraham Lincoln? Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah, it was actually Ronald Reagan and then at 69 and then Donald Trump voted, voted beat him out at 70. Who did America buy the Louisiana Purchase from? A. Germany, B. Spain, C. France, or D. It was France. Yeah, France in 1803 during Thomas Jefferson's presidency. <laughs> Who said the famous words, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country? <laughs> this is a word choice talking to <laughs> Okay, A, either George Washington, B, Abraham Lincoln, C, John F. Kennedy, or D, Theodore Roosevelt. I'm gonna go with Abe Lincoln. No, no. John F. Kennedy. <laughs> Who did not sign the Declaration of Independence? Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, John Hancock, or George Washington? Was it George Washington? Yes! Yay! <laughs> Although he was our first president, he did not sign the Declaration of Independence. He was there. Who wrote the Declaration, Decor, Declaration of Independence? Uh, Thomas Jefferson. Yes. How many amendments are in the Constitution? Oh, shoot. So there's 27, 15, 12, or 23? 23. 27. 27. Although over 11,000 have been proposed, only 27 have been approved. Okay. Who was Abraham Lincoln killed by? Um, I know his name. I don't really know his name. <laughs> John Wilkes Booth. Yes. Richard Nixon was impeached for the Watergate affair. True or false? False. Because he resigned before they could impeach him. Yes. Got it. Who was the only president to be unanimously, and unanimously <laughs> voted into office? Lord. Um, what do you think? Abraham Lincoln? No, George Washington. What? Yeah, he was our first president, so. When was America founded? Oh, Lord. I'm gonna go with July 4th. But I don't know what year. <laughs> they're all July 4th. 17, they're all July 4th. 1776. Great! <laughs> Always go with B, you learn that with the SAT. <laughs> they said the famous word, speak softly and carry a big stick, you'll go far. Roosevelt? Yes! Good job! <laughs> what year did America first land a man on the moon? So 1970, 1969, 1965, or 1968? 1969? Yes! <laughs> oh, you got them both right! Wait, are you even a class president? A German club. That's not... No, you have to get out. No. Okay. We would like to personally thank me, Grace Coster, for producing that video. And also to Raina for traveling all the way to South Dakota to get that authentic picture of modern day Mount Rushmore.
Hey, Mandy, remember that fashion show, show Coleman told you about? You know, the one he plans to MC? Yes, of course. Well, if more people don't start signing up, that fashion show might not happen. So please, sign up with Miss Owens so that we can experience this lovely event once again. Book Club will be meeting before school on Wednesday, February 22nd. We will be discussing April Henry's Girl Stolen. Please join us. Also, Knocker Ball registration ends Thursday, so be sure to register through the Stout store or the pre-sales table at lunch. Soccer has a scrimmage tonight against Piedmont at home starting at 7, so show up to that to support your noble varsity soccer. And if you're not feeling like a soccer rocker, the Oklahoma Sooners play tonight against Baylor at 6. So, a, recra a recap of the soccer tournament on Saturday. The varsity girls went 1-1-1, one, 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 which means they won one, they lost one, and they tied one. And our varsity boys went 2-1, so congratulations to them. Indeed. Hey, Mandy, I have a message for Piedmont. Oh, yeah? Hit me. If you even dream of beating me, you'd better wake up and apologize. Muhammad Ali. Even though Piedmont is like an hour away, I can actually smell the fear. Well, guys, it's Tuesday, and you know what that means. Today for lunch, that will be my personal favorite, chicken nugget lunch. We have a couple special birthdays today. Karen Drummond, Blakely Flores, Shane Jones, Alicia Williams. Don't party too hard, you filthy animals. Today is National Sticky Buns Day, also known as Cinnamon Rolls Day. You know, I have a joke for this, but I'll refrain. Oh. One more thing. Congratulations to Jaden Scott, Jamie Apatone, Raymond Maxwell, and Kaylee Grace Hoy for being accepted to represent Noble at Girls State. Wow, that is one powerful group of girls. But anyway, that wraps this thing up. Thank you for watching this episode of Wake Up Noble. This is Mandy and Grace signing, signing off. off. That was like switch. Hey guys, here's a recap. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too early for this. Tell me a story. I'm not telling a story, it's embarrassing. Okay.